hi everyone i hope all of you are doing great i have not been making tutorials for a long time but we'll be back on this track and completing this react series in the last video we have uh, looked into scenarios uh, related to components but but in this video we are gonna look into a new thing in react known as prop so props are basically known as properties that is a short name of properties in react that is known as prop so what I have done is I have created a new project using uh, the command uh, create react app uh, the project name that we have seen right npx create react app the project name so I have generated a project known as animals so this animal project used to learn props okay we'll be using this to learn props what I've done I've removed all the uh, you know uh, files that we don't need so I have uh, removed everything and set up this project and it is running in the locally uh, with the help of command known as uh, npm start okay i hope this is clear to you because we have done this in the last uh, video as well so in the localhost my app is running if i go there my app is running cool out here localhost refresh it my app is running so in this video we are going along our props so what props are it is a property right so basically what happens whenever you are creating a component there are various things you need to pass to that particular component for example for example consider you are making a app where uh, there are various you know contacts you need to display so in contact uh, component you are created a contact component suppose and in that contact component you are creating uh, you know suppose a uh, name title and things like that but where the data will go from that contact component so we'll be passing some data to that component right uh, so that is passed using prop the basic minimum information that is required is passed via props so let, let's look at so we have created an animal uh, animals basically a uh, project so i'll show a scenario for that to you all so this is the last scenario we looked at let's you know create a new uh, thing and let's look at how things work out just give me a quick sec okay perfect so let's look out like how you know this uh, props work so in this uh, tutorial what we'll be going we'll be creating animals so there will be various animals so we we have our index uh, you know file basically out here uh, this is this is an index index uh, file basically the index file that you see in the code this index file and what this index file is doing is this index file is calling uh, the app component right the app js basically the app js so if you go to index file it's calling out you know app which is put into root and this root in it is in html okay so this particular app is put into index.html file and here we can go you know app.js and this app.js is displaying just run, run react so what we what we are gonna do is we are gonna create a new you know component that is known as animal animal js okay and what this animal js is gonna do is you know this is gonna display the name of animals so what we are gonna do is we are gonna create you know uh, various things and we are gonna create this animal component and this animal complete will display a name basically okay this will be the name of animal and this data will be coming from this app.js so we'll be passing that prop basically property name from app.js to animal.js so we'll be passing various names suppose we are creating four animals right so we'll be passing four names to that particular component but remember we have created only one component we are just passing the property and this animal js will be behaving as a different four animals let's look at in the code and i hope you'll understand there better okay so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a, a animal component okay so this animal component uh, we'll be creating in this folder only suppose we create a new folder suppose components and after this component suppose uh, we put up animal animal dot js okay so in the react you also use you know uh, this uh, snippets basically so i have installed various snippets 
suppose the x functional component so if you type rfc it will give you a full component for uh, full component basically if you don't have you can go to this extension wala uh, icon and you can go to you know uh, react snippets i don't remember if i have shown this but this is the one es7 react uh, graphql snippets okay and this is by uh, uh, dsz na j d r basically so pretty hard, hard to pronounce but yeah you can find that you can just type this name here you will get just install it and you can get you know you can generate that react component rfc you will get react functional component real functional component export and things like that suppose i click on this and it will automatically export as well for me that animal okay now in this we are going to display the name of the animal okay and in this uh, thing we are going to display the name of animal so this is function and in this function we can take you know name suppose and this name uh, is going to come from the app so in react how you display uh, you know javascript inside react is between the two uh, curly braces basically whatever put uh, in this you this is treated as javascript we can execute some expression as well this will give us output as five so suppose we are displaying name right so we are exporting this let's go to app and import this here suppose i go here and import is animal yes my auto import will work see animal okay i close this component perfect this is running in local animal is imported if i go to my local host i get something you know weird because I haven't passed anything, right? So if I pass the name, so I part with Rohan and uh, suppose this is not used, that's why it's giving warning. So but let's comment it out. If I comment it out, I can see this Rohan. So what happens is you can pass that as much, you can create as much as animal you want. Suppose I create, you know, cat, I create a dog, I create a tiger, I create uh, 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 anything like right? any other animal. Suppose let's take this three animal only as of now just refresh it and you get different uh, animals here right so why you are getting that animals because you are passing different props to the animal component and it's taking that particular name and you know displaying that particular name right suppose you can pass any as many as you know uh, component basically so you can pass you know other things like uh, reason uh, suppose equal to India and if I pass pause India 2 India 3 and if I do refresh I can't see because I haven't displayed it in the animals so I will take uh, you know reason as one of the component and I will display the reason as well and you know how to display that okay now it is displaying reason okay and if i refresh see cat is india okay so this way you can uh, display various things uh, using props right you can also not this destructure it but you can pass it as props and you can do props dot name and uh, props dot reason and it's output the same thing perfect so this way you can pass uh, anything like in a component using props there are various information you can pass object you can pass uh, data coming from the rest api to a particular component so this way like you can get various animal component the styling is bad but for understanding it's uh, good now you are getting a dog you are getting tiger but that is only one component everything is differing from you know this particular uh, props basically so that is for this video and in the next video we'll be looking into uh, prop types and default prop so suppose you want to have strict that okay i want to pass name as a string only not as a number suppose i am passing a number out here okay and i am passing a number out here and it's taking right it's not breaking and i'm getting that number suppose you want to restrict that okay i want and i have only string in that particular name value so you can restrict that using uh, prop types and there are uh, things like default props we'll be looking in the next video till then uh, hit subscribe like and this video we'll be seeing next time thank you so much